What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Freakeasy Gaming. Welcome back to another Fallout 4 video. In today's Fallout 4 video, I'm going to be talking about a couple of ways you guys could prepare for Far Harbor. Now, for those of you that do not know, Fallout 4's third DLC, Far Harbor, is coming out on May 19th. Alright guys, the first thing you are going to want to do to prepare for Far Harbor is get your character in far enough into the main story where you complete the main story quest called Getting a Clue. Now, the official Fallout 4 Twitter page actually tweeted this out the other day, and it says, In order to start hashtag Far Harbor, you'll need to complete getting a clue on the main quest, hashtag Fallout 4, hashtag More 4. So guys, in order to start Far Harbor, you will need to complete the main quest, getting a clue. However, it has also been confirmed by Bethesda and multiple gaming websites that while the Automatron DLC requires you to be level 15 to start, the Fallout 4 for Harbor DLC does not require you to be a specific level. So guys, basically with the Fallout 4 for Harbor DLC, you do not have to be any specific level to start it. Any level could start the Fallout 4 for Harbor DLC as long as they have completed the quest called Getting a Clue. But I do I suggest not actually starting Far Harbor until you're a very high level. The reason why I say this is because that over the last couple of days, well, since the release of the Fallout 4 Far Harbor reveal trailer, the official Fallout 4 Twitter page has tweeted out multiple times that the enemies in Far Harbor will be very difficult. If we look at one of their tweets here, it says in hashtag Far Harbor, you'll need ammo, stim packs, maybe a rocket or three worse than Meyer lurks out there. Now guys, if we look at this tweet very closely, it says maybe a rocket or three. If you need three rockets to take down an enemy, that's obviously a pretty high level enemy and that enemy is probably going to be very hard to beat. Also, if it takes three rockets to take down just a little enemy, I could just imagine what the bosses or the really hard enemies in Far Harbor are going to be like. Now in the reveal trailer, there are multiple enemies that are new and that we've seen before. We see the ghouls. The ghouls aren't really too hard of an enemy to beat. Or it sort of shows this new enemy that we've never seen before. And if we zoom in on him, we can tell that he's like this Deathclaw sort of crocodile hybrid. Or hard as the Deathclaw is, I'm pretty sure the enemy's going to be able to deal a lot of damage too. And if we look at this enemy here, he looks like some type of anglerfish enemy. He looks like a mutated anglerfish. It looks like this enemy's pretty big. It looks like he's going to be pretty hard to beat. This enemy looks really, really tough. He looks like he's going to do a lot of damage. And also, if we look at this trailer, we could tell that the Fallout 4 character looks like he's got some new armor on his arms or some new uh, apparel on his hand. Sort of got that rag wrapped around there. And it sort of looks like we have a new weapon also, which looks really, really awesome. But this enemy looks like he's going to be a very high level enemy and it looks like he's going to be hard to beat. So guys, in overview, the first thing you are going to want to do to prepare for Far Harbor is get your character ready. Even though there is no specific level required to start Far Harbor, I suggest being a high level to actually begin Far Harbor because it looks like the enemies in Far Harbor are going to be very tough. Alright guys, so the second thing you are going to want to do to prepare for the release of Far Harbor is stock up on Rad X and Rad Away. The reason why I say this is because if you look at the Fallout 4 trailer in detail, and if you've looked at some of the stuff the beta beta testers have leaked for Far Harbor, uh, a lot of the stuff has to do with radiation. They say there's a lot of uh, water combat where you spend a lot of your time in the water inside Far Harbor, and it's highly irradiated. So that leads me to believe it's probably a good idea to stock up on Rad, Rad X and Rad Away. And in the trailer, we see some water combat. We see you with a sort of, a, I forgot his name, Longfellow, I believe his name is. And they're sort of in the water, and it looks like there's an enemy there that they're trying to kill. But for the most part, they're in the water, which means that if you're in the water any, anywhere in Fallout, obviously you take damage. And if we look at sort of like this little overview of the map, now I know most likely this isn't all of Far Harbor, but if we look here, it, sees, it seems to shift from land to uh, sort of uh, water, and then land to water, land to water. It looks like there's a lot of that here. So it looks like there's going to be a lot of water that you have to go through. It looks like water is going to be unavoidable in Far Harbor. So it looks like it might be a good idea to stock up on Rad X and Rad Away. Now guys, a simple way to avoid all this 
is to invest in the Aqua Boy perk. Water is your ally. You no longer take radiation damage from swimming and can breathe underwater. So the Aqua Boy perk seems like a good perk to invest if you're getting Far Harbor. Now guys, it seems that radiation may be unavoidable even if you have the Aqua Boy perk. If we look here on the screen, we could see Nick Valentine and the Wanderer sort of standing in front of this forest. Now this forest has that glow like the glowing sea does in Fallout 4. And if you guys have played in the glowing sea, you know that the glowing sea uh, gives you radiation damage. Even if you step foot in there, you start taking radiation damage. And in the next shot of the trailer, we actually see more radiation. We actually see a bunch of little radiated puddles with radiated barrels. And it looks like a really, 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 really nasty irradiated place. In fact, this place looks more irradiated uh, than uh, the Glowing Sea does. It looks like you might take more damage in Far Harbor's sort of version of the Glowing Sea than you do in the regular Glowing Sea. Now guys, there's something that you could actually do physically here in the real world to prepare for Far Harbor, and that's to get some G Fuel, now available in Kiwi's Chop. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Oh. I couldn't resist it was just it was just too good at the moment all right guys seriously though there is something you could do here in the real world to prepare for the release of far harbor and that is to actually get prepared to download it guys uh here we go according to a listing on steam db far harbor will be close to three gigabytes in size this is much larger than automatron around one gigabyte and wasteland workshop 100 megabytes and smaller so guys a three gigabyte download for a dlc that's gonna take a long time so guys get prepared to download for harbor it's a very big dlc around three gigabytes either uh let it download overnight set an alarm download it let it download overnight because it's probably gonna take around one to three hours if you have fast wi-fi or if you have very slow wi-fi it could take three to four to six hours depending on how fast your internet is if you have an ethernet cable it may take an hour to two hours, maybe an hour, depending on how fast your internet is. I have really godlike internet, so it might take an hour for me to actually download this three gigabyte download uh, for Far Harbor. So guys, I suggest you hook an ethernet cable up to your console once again, uh, so you could download Far Harbor very quickly, or at least in a reasonable amount of time, and you could actually play Far Harbor within a couple of hours of its release after you download it. Anyways guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy this video, I ask you to drop that like, comment, and subscribe as it really does help the channel grow. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please comment them in the comment section down below. Anyways guys, love each and every single one of you. We'll see you guys right back here tomorrow. And remember, stay freaky.